Hey guys, we just got back from the range. Got to try out the Post Upgrades MP5 clone, brought to you by PTR. So, things I threw on here was the BNT folding brace. Right there. Okay, there's a little more flow. Which we made a video on the upgrades themselves, but we didn't get a chance to get to the range. Uh, today, we did put some rounds to it. Incredible. I was shooting this with a smile on my face. It was absolutely great. For the um, the optic itself, it was a little high. Uh, Ray didn't get a chance to sight it in. But still, It was only about super like nice. two, three inches. But the group itself, um, obviously shooting indoors, we're limited to, uh, on space. But indoors, the range, the group size, just tiny. Amazing. From a stand, super lightweight. The recoil system, amazing. Can't say enough nice things about it. It was uh, very nice, and I took off the original aluminum grip, and I put on the more, uh, I, I believe they call this, like, the tropical grip or something. Um, very nice. Feels like you're, uh, like, it, like, it's definitely, like, made for it to fit your hand. Like, they have the uh, slimmer line grips, but I like how the, um, like, triangle it bellows out. Really fills your hand properly. Got the uh, double mags, steel mags this time. Nothing broke. They work flawlessly. Amazing. Yep, wonderful. which I'll, I'll throw in, like, shooting clips throughout this clip to keep it interesting. We'll throw one in now. So it's only, like, two inches and seven inches? Aim for the like six. Aim at that bottom of the outer green ring. Okay. And as you can see, like, it was just great to shoot. It was just a fun, super practical, super effective, 9mm personal defense weapon. Absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah. Like... What's the, the what's the length of the barrel on it? For... Um, I think it's like 10 inches or 8.75 yeah, yeah. or something like that. Uh, but before you have said, oh, yeah, the, this is a good option for home defense, and I was like... I don't know, I kind of think of other guns for that role, but now that I have it set up, now that I've really, like, shot it, yeah, I definitely, no, it's amazing. I, I definitely then, agree with you now. And then I was doing some LARPing around the house, going around corners with it, and just super agile, super light, super easy to go around a corner with, just amazing. Uh, I definitely agree. It's a very primo little package. Uh, again, with round count through it, we we're not keeping a super accurate count, but we did put like, what, another 100 in it today? I, I think it was about like 150, 200. Yeah, yeah, we, we just had some uh, loose ammo to shoot. We've been buying more, but then keeping just the, the stuff we have extra on top, because um, times are tough for getting ammo. Don't want to, uh, you know, uh, waste all of it, make sure it cycles low in accuracy, which it did cycle flawlessly, still no issue. Have you cleaned it since you've picked it up? Uh, yes, I did get all of the original, like, packing, like, mm -hmm. oil off of it. That's, like, a little bit more yeah, tacky. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, obviously I've been LARPing around my house, just giving it the old every now and again. Because, uh... Was the only thing with that's fun. with cycling with these at an indoor range is you're, like, in a little booth. So these get spat out, and they and just... And they literally go... Yeah. Ting, ting, ting. Yeah, and, and like, they, they, they hit you in the top of the head, so, they hit you on the shoulder. Yeah, yeah, so then the way, way it always goes, like, it'll hit the wall and just come back at you. Yeah. That's the only complaint, which is not even a complaint on the pistol itself, because that's just the that wouldn't be happening. Yeah, and that's the constraint of shooting with a wall directly a foot next to you. Which is unfortunate, but, I mean, that's just how things are. Uh, overall, uh, need to, like, adjust this a little bit. Think, come down, like, an inch and a half, and then that way, yeah, at about 25 yards, it'll four be like clicks dead on. down, you're dead on. And uh, which I don't want it to be dead on at seven yards. Oh, yeah, I get that. I'm I, saying I shooting it dead on at like because we, we took it at seven, at ten, pull all the way at the back of the range. And which we didn't, we don't really film like at longer ranges a lot of the time because 
even at the like seven, ten, and fifteen yards, you can barely see the picture yeah, anyway. Yeah. And well, it's not even that. Don't it's like... have a habit of showing the uh, targets afterwards, which we're going to try and fix. I'm going to try. It's and not even that. It's like at that. the range. I've tried making videos there, being like, "Hey guys, here's my my group with my pistol," but it's like, but you can't really talk. There's to so much shooting. noise going on, and it's like sometimes I'll like if I'm recording for myself, I won't record Ray. But I can assure you the great the groups were amazing with this. Anything that was off was user error, of course. For outdoors, you can take it to fifty and see how it does. It'd be it'd be I'm I'm still certain it would do great at those ranges. From my understanding of mechanics, yep. whether it's at seven, ten, twenty, fifty, or a hundred, it's going to do the exact same size of groups. Mm -hmm. But when you go to longer ranges, like wind and user error become far yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. It just the bullet spends more time flying through the air, losing velocity slightly. It's gonna lead to a slight drop. There's a slight wind, it'll be slightly this way, and it's all little stuff. And if you're a little bit off at fifty, you can be a little bit more off at a hundred, so your group will open up. But relatively for the cartridge, you're just you're, that's the only limiting factor. The length of barrel will well, it's not up the most optimal for nine millimeter. I'm not sure exactly what barrel length would be. I but, mean, I've used it in a 16-inch barrel uh, mm -hmm. blowback AR, A9, yeah. and it does far worse. This was probably, um, like, tennis ball-sized around there, maybe a little bit smaller, so... Oh, no, it was it was better than, than tennis ball, like, at know? range. Because, no, we, we were not so much... Being marksman, we weren't. We were blasting away, having fun at the range. So just digging around. Yeah, me, ball. me plinking around, having fun, was tennis ball. If I am being super accurate, not even on a bench, I'm just saying, just just shooting it slowly, taking my time. You would be just stacking the bullets on top of each other. But uh, the AR9, it probably got like baseball size, is what I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. Like if this is tennis ball, that was baseball. Yeah, yeah. Which, if what you're saying is that, then I'd say that this could uh, be just slightly bigger than golf ball then. Mm -hmm. Oh, then, yeah. Uh, then probably if I tried super hard with the AR-9, I could probably get it down to tennis ball. Yeah. So yeah. it's definitely a degree better. And a lot of that is because of the roller delayed uh, action of this. It really smooths it out, really tames that up. You don't have a big old chunk and thing going back and forth. It's really nice light. And I can see why this thing became the pinnacle of... PDW and SMG design yeah, for so long. Yeah. So which even now, like on, on their development side of things, from my understanding, they're like for HK, they're not really making better products now. They're making more affordable products to sell to and pitch them to other like countries, military, law enforcement. Which like even now there are still like hand me down MP fives mm -hmm. in military and law enforcement all across the world. They're not going anywhere because these things are so well made, like the HK ones, and yep. even these PTR ones, which are known to be like the best HK clones. So, yeah, yeah. Um, they're, they're still in inventories, they're still being used, but like you said, now HK is pushing pushing more of the like UMP mm -hmm. 9, 40, and 45 series because it's polymer, it's cheaper, it's uh, just how the times are going, which that still uses the uh, roller delayed and the. Uh, cocking handle off to the side deal um and it's so. like it's not like the next evolution they're kind of like i wouldn't call i want to step as far as say like, the like a downgrade version. it's like the polymer frame version a little bit more affordable they make a little bit more money on each uh unit they sell to in quantity to large countries because they're charging three thousand dollars for the sp5 which is you know the hk yeah mccoy at this but then they're probably selling their ump nine millimeter for like two two and a half grand but it probably only cost them like less than a grand to produce yeah and that and that's my understanding of it i'm not saying they make bad products all i'm all i'm just trying to get across they, is they're kind of like all gouging. i'm getting all i'm getting across is this really is still like from the 80s is still the pinnacle now of what like i would consider a personal defense weapon like when it comes down to it it's just like the best yeah oh yeah i I don't want any other PDW other than this, because mm -hmm. why would you? The, the safe is at Nakatomi Plaza, don't you know? Which, yeah, there's, there's not much we can do for comparison. 
I picked up a Mac 10, which is, uh, you know. He hasn't gotten his upgrades which for Which I find to upgrades, but it, will, it won't compare at all. And then even so, there are a lot of options where, like, it's, like, in, like, the, what would probably, like, the vague term of, like, SMG category. Um, there are cool options out there, like, you can get a P90. It certainly looks very cool. Uh, but it doesn't. I, I kind of want one. I'm not yeah, yeah, no, I, 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 I certainly have like an AR. I, cer I certainly wouldn't be against it, but nine millimeters is already hard to get, and anything else is like the cost has been going up. And this is in normal times, this would be the most like affordable, ergonomic, like not the pistol itself that's expensive, but I'm saying just for the ammo side of things. Comparing it to just me stocking up on 5.7, it would be... Which, like, you can get, like, the Federal Ball 5.7 for not too much, but, uh, like, any of the better, like, Gucci or ammos, yeah, you're gonna yeah. pay, like, the FN brand ammo, I think it's, like, 5 or $6 more than the Federal, which, the Federal, you're getting 50 but I think it's literally $25 a box. So that's 45 ACP cost for yeah. 5.7 bullets. And, and then some, if you want slightly better quality. Yeah. Which, and again, with this, super good accuracy, all all the performance you'd want using just affordable ball ammo. We're not going with, like, the highest end. Uh, which for was which, federal and cellular which bullet, so Stepping it's into a separate category for home defense, what ammo selection would you choose with this? Would you stick with ball ammo? I'd probably go with some uh, federal HSTs. Okay. They're kind of my go-to because you get mm -hmm. 50 of them in a box. Yep. So you don't have to buy, like, three uh boxes of their like of like 20 yeah or yeah any other brand mm -hmm. it's just buy one box of 50 or buy two boxes of 50 and then you can fill both of these mags with bonded hollow points which are my favorite kind of hollow point for many reasons i believe we have a video on that yeah and, yeah because uh, i like, to go to town. like comparing this to like my what's well, oh well, not my mac 10 that that's completely different like my air 9 this is so much better pretty good we'll see once you put a red dot and your brace on yeah. your mac 10 we'll see how much better and uh since you're gonna get the mac 10 maybe i'll try and get the uh bnt tp9 okay the styre mp um mp9 mm -hmm. clone so that way we'll have two that are basically the same where it's got the magazine going in yeah but we'll yeah. have one that's stupid high end one that's stupid low end <laughs> <laughs> which yeah that's gonna be it for this video um, as far as what we have planned with this, not a whole lot as far as what we're going to do at the range that we're going to film outside of taking it to 50, which, um, not everyone's going to be super interested in that. Like we do want to get into more like, um, testing velocities, testing ballistics. And it's not so much from like a point of authority. It's like, we'll do our own tests because there are ammos out there that will do better than others and perform better at longer barrels. And I am interested to see that. And that's where we'll leave this video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.